between FOF and N7. And this should be a very, very good match. Um, we are just waiting for uh, one person to leave, I believe. Uh, I mean, there's so much controversy about this right now. I hope this is a good match. I wish the best of luck to both teams. And I guess we're gonna go shortly because it looks like it. Just waiting on word. It's the best of seven. Squad conquest, obviously. This game mode now needs no introduction anymore. We're just getting through this round at this point. I believe we're not actually trying. Oh my. I'm just... Just saying, oh my. back with y'all. We are officially burning through this round.
Well, looks like everybody's just shooting at each other on C at this point in time. Not much action in this burnaround, but we will be underway shortly, hopefully. Oh, and a pickaxe used on Ulysses. I'm not sure how to say that if it's Greek or not. I'm not trying to butcher your name. I do apologize if I said it wrong. Ulysses or Ulysses. Not 100% sure. Now we're just having a little fun here still. All right, and here we go. Let's get it started. Ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be good. N7 versus FOF and friends. So, we will give you a a best of seven squad conquest match. This is going to be something to see. All right, the first map is on Mercury. I've only played this map once or twice in, in an actual competitive setting as it doesn't always come up in the rotation, but it is a good map. This is the one spawn point over here. This is where it all goes down in the middle. And this house is where it all goes down on that spawn point. We are a go. FOF and friends are on the right and seven on the left. Let's see what their strategy is. Not everybody from N7 has spawned in. I think they might be waiting till they reach the points, and that is what it is looking like. 
The third spawn in with the tank, and there is a glitch going on. It looks like FOF will be on the point on B first. This is where it's all going to go down. Greasy goes for the airplane to hold the flank. They're going to send two over. Will they see each other? Half sees Finest first. Again, gets taken down himself. Overkill is now two on one. Gets to revive. Gallardo gets the grenade on Miss Malcolm. And B is quickly recovered there by N7. But they do now have to watch the flank in that house. Because they've got a problem in it. With four members in it. But they all go down on both scenes. But two of them survive on the FOF and friend side. And they will take B back. No they will not. Not sure why he got out of the tank to begin with. And he goes down. And now FOF and friends are getting the point back. And it looks like N7 sent two guys to see will they make it though. Jake getting shot by Alpha from his rooftop, which is a great position. Alpha's going to chase Hefner, but doesn't get him. N7 are going to remain on B, and now it looks like they're going for the triple cap, but they're going to get overrun at C and not get it, but they will hold Bravo well though. And they just surrounded Overkill, and that was Overkill. Now they've got FOF pushed up on the hill. Smoke galore. Revives going out everywhere. Everybody running together in pairs for FOF and friends. This is interesting. Will N7 be able to hold B? That is the question. They dropped the first two. They dropped three now. But they lose one themselves. Skyline making a move to Alpha. I don't think he spotted them. No, he hasn't. They're going to make a move. No, he has spotted them. Gets one. Greasy back up from Lankard 09. Skyline goes down after getting the first one. Now... And 7 are losing B and A. They have to regroup here. Can they do it? That is the question. And they do. They sneak a squad to C. Now FOF are pushed in the middle. But will it be enough to get B back? It looks like FOF and friends are holding B very well. And seven recover A. And they might just recover B because FOF and friends threw everybody to C, not really considering where N7 was. This one's close. It is only by eight points at the moment. And N7 are gonna be able to get Bravo put smoke down and hold it. Exchange here with gunfire between Hef and a pan Hef got somebody with a panzer and South got Hef all in the same moment. Big Jake up now moving in through the middle. FOF and friends have to gamble here and throw everything at B. Well, they've got them all up. And they don't make it through the first line of defense, but will that defense hold? N7 keeping people off the point. 
just to be safe, and it's working so far, but Big Head does break through, but goes down. N7 holding strong on the right. It looks like FOF and friends are getting revived. Greasy's in the tank. Third is keeping Greasy distracted and is working. Greasy does get a kill, but so does South Vine. He's getting both 501 members. But FOF and friends have pushed in and they got somebody sitting on the hill with a Lewis gun. And now FOF are completely cut off in the and they get surrounded and dropped. Albeit they do take some N7 with them. Hefner getting skyline. He goes down. The defense has been overrun. And now third is in the tank to counter Greasy. And he's going to be able to nail him from distance there. Jake getting B by himself. But N7 pushing up and smoking out Greasy. Who is completely trapped between Alpha and Gelardo. And he goes down by Alpha's dynamite. South is surrounded on A, but gets one. Skyline gets back to B and takes it, but there are two there. No one there now. Skyline coming in and getting a kill from behind, but goes down from Lonkert. Skyline just getting cut off. A is being held well here. Oh, and that's another tank kill by third. Zending finally gets a kill. And Zinni gets another. And he's looking for the revive. No, he gets Max. And A will be theirs. Oh, and he barely survives. B is now being fought from two sides. Greasy sitting up high on C. Being a spawn point at this moment in time. And now they're going to go. B was held. Now they have to get A back. Zinni all by his lonesome with no help. Will he be able to survive? Big head spawns on him. So does this, the rest of the squad. Oh, and that is a triple kill from Durr. No, it's four actually. Hit the bank. And that is definitely a highlight to remember. Third with the perfect position. And now N7 are going to go for the triple cap. FOF and friends had nobody on the point left alive on either point and they're just gonna sit there and harass them at sea and now alpha's alone and gets surrounded skyline gets surrounded there too after just spawning into that madness third is pushing up what will they be able to do And now it looks like FOF and friends have forced their way back on the B. N7 was trying to hold in the bunker. Gallardo by himself. South staying alive. And Gallardo staying alive. This is crazy. Unbelievable. FOF have broken through. We're going to zoom in on this chaos here. And seven are saying not so fast. Third getting a kill on Miss Malcolm as they broke through. Gelardo going off as well as Alpha. Unbelievable defense of Bravo here. And this is only round one. We got six more of this. This is incredible. They are going to push a very high line to try and seal this first win. And it's so far working this time around. Skyline in there with Alpha mixing it up. So is Gerardo. They're all saying who can shoot through this smoke first. And here comes the rest of N7 pushing up. The tank providing perfect fire cover. Here comes FOF and friends trying to push in. 
Oh, this is good stuff. They're going for the triple cap and might just get it. This is going to be a shootout on C. This is the OK Corral here. FOF and friends holding firm. But so is that seven. Nobody budging. This is what we came to see. And seven got three members left on the point. FOF three, four now. I was about to say three when I was when I was right there. Oh, and third coming in to make it three and gets a second for the win. And that is a crazy ending. And seven win the first round and it might have looked large on numbers but believe me that was close multiple times that was fantastic from both sides to watch round one to end seven lofton islands a crazy map for round two because this map can go anybody's way you can get triple capped either side or you can have an all-out war on Bravo. It depends on what your strategy is and what your counter strategy is. This can change the course of every scrim. This particular map due to its layout. It is probably my favorite map and one of the best maps in the game on Squad Conquest. I wish they would actually take it from this and expand it in the conquest because they could easily do that i i do understand it's from firestorm and it is dice so we'll probably never get to see that in the lifetime of this game hopefully this is b this is one spawn point and this over here is another spawn point so it looks like N7 will be on the right and FOF on the left. Now, there are better spawn points that N7 did get that, but it's how you use it in this map. It's all about how you use what spawn point you got, what your strategy is. And it looks like N7 are going to play a long, deep line and 5 -O FOF and friends are going to push everybody. Oh my god. Everybody's going the same direction. We've got a war on our hands. Right in the middle. on Between C and A. B is also going to be a war zone folks. And there goes the house. Oh my gosh. And 7 gang of opening kills. But FOF responding. And so are friends. Alpha honing his own before going down. Unbelievable. It looks like FOF and friends did manage to grab B and are going for the instant triple cap. Which can actually backfire. I've seen that happen multiple times in competitive matches over the last couple of weeks. Like I said, it's all about how you hold your line. And it looks like they're holding it well. Except I don't think they noticed that Alpha got behind them. And it looks like N7 are back in business on B. Because they just ran through. But here comes Greasy and Killa12 to push in. Now N7 have a full squad on there. Greasy goes down. Killer gets one, but will we be able to get more? And it looks like they're going to keep a squad at C. And now N7 going for the double cap. Alpha going down, and so did Gallardo getting jumped on the side from both directions. B being held well here. Now they are in need of getting either A or C. This one's close already. It might be a, about a 25, 30 point difference, but it does not matter when you're watching it. Both teams going back and forth on their home points. This is an all out war zone in the middle by the tower and the White House. 
A is now in control of N7, who just took it back from FOF and friends. Gallardo getting Hefter through the window. That was a nice cover play. But Zinning saying not so fast and getting Gallardo back. Alpha getting one, but might get taken down from behind. No, Zinning can't find him. N7 holding B and trying to hold A. And it looks like FOF and friends are holding the top of the roof on C and that might actually begin to work in their favor as nobody can now sneak around the flanks. N7 being pushed into B. Now if they could spawn in and they did it as I was about to suggest the strategy behind these guys on the roof, that'll actually become handy. And it looks like they got the first one. Somebody shot a panther, didn't get the kill, but somebody else did. Oh, and it's Gordo getting in behind, and there it goes. FOF and friends going down. Oh, Jake saying, hold on, not so fast. But third saying, you're not staying here. Alpha now left by himself on Bravo, and FOF and friends are going to take a advantage of that and just outmaneuver him. And that now sees N7 having to take back Bravo. Miss Malcolm on the kill there. She's got one by holding that truck. Well played. And now it looks like 501 FOF and, and friends are pushing in to C from the right. But the defense holds. Alpha comes in at the last possible second. Jake staying alive but it doesn't work in his favor now they've got somebody on their roof and they went for alpha i don't think we'll see a triple cap in this game but you never know this can be a crazy one we've got multiple bogeys moving down to a sorry for the lag delay there south getting one will he get the second no he will actually it's joe it's Porto, it's Elk, I'm just going to say Elk, gets the kill. And now third coming over to make sure nobody's backtracked to C or anywhere else. They're going to take Bravo back. Now, FOF and friends are going to run to Charlie. Oh, and it looks like South gets dropped by getting surrounded. Kill a try, kill, overkill trying to, sorry, wrong one. Overkill trying to hold on, does so, so far. Alpha did get down. Overkill getting up the kill and getting Alpha up. Third getting surrounded, Gelardo staying alive. Elk getting the next kill. Jake on the roof, looking for Gelardo, finds him. Elk goes down from Big Head, I believe. No, it was actually Hefner. I apologize there. And now it looks like N7 are saying, well, we'll hold A if you want to take B. And they are doing just that, except Miss Malcolm is saying not so fast. We have Bravo now being taken by FOF and friends. Elk getting one coming back in with an instant spawn. Well played there. Skyline getting a double, Elk getting a double himself. Skyline saying anything you can do, I can do as well. And Elk saying it right back, getting the triple. Big Head Max exchanging kills. Hefner finally takes down Elf. Miss Malcolm heading over to see to help out FOF. And it's two on two now. It was three on three. B is a hotbed, and it looks like that N7 will be holding it for the moment i must say because fof and friends are pushing back on both points on b and on c attempting to go for the triple cap killer trying to hold himself up and alive but doesn't get the job done there gelardo getting the kill finding out where he was by making a move with what i believe was a grenade and now fof and friends are back in control of Bravo 
but on the flip side, Alpha and Charlie are being held by N7, so now it's FOF and friends who have to come out. Alpha gets the first, but gets dropped by the second. And B is a hotbed. Elk going off. Elk getting one. Will he get the second? Elk gets Jake, and that's well held. Now N7 can push in the Bravo, and FOF are going to push back to Charlie, because that's just how this game has gone, this round in particular. Nobody holding two points for two objectives for more than 30 seconds. And as I predicted, it's happening. FOF and friends going straight for C, but third is having other ideas about it. And F and 7 pushing up on Alpha. Hefner gets one before getting dropped. And it was South who did it. Gerardo trying to hold the window but doesn't get a kill from it. Skyline trying to hold off Zinding and he does. And there's third holding off C. This might just be the moment where this map turns in favor of N7. Because now they've had two points for more than 30 seconds. It can collect point tickets off of them. But here comes FOF and friends. But Gerardo says not so fast. They know there's one left. They just now have to find him. Overkill goes down by Blake. Big Jake. Gerardo blows up the building. Here comes FOF and friends trying to take back C, but this time N7 have a defense. Malcolm and and Killa smoke it out, but it doesn't help them in that moment. And now we're seeing a very high line from only four people on N7 spawn in. Five, six now, and one goes down. They have to spawn in everybody to hold this line. Two go down. Skyline next to the box. It looked like he was in it, but he was not. Killer trying to make a breakthrough. South saying not so fast, and there's blood being shot through South. Here's Alpha holding. Big head goes down from Max, and this one is tied, ladies and gentlemen. And it's N7 trying to hold a line, and Alpha comes in at the right time and gets the first two. Will FOF and friends be able to hold? Skyline gets to the tower. This time he's actually in it. And Killer gets one. Will Killer get Skyline? That is the question. Skyline says not so fast, Mr. Commentator. But here comes 501st and friends pushing Bravo. Third is on the roof and gets the first two. Here comes Max Friend. Will he get Hefner underneath the stairs? Will third get the kill? Third does not. Does not get the first one. Hefner goes searching for... Oh, Max gets half, and now Big Head gets Jake, Max gets Jake, and now N7 are going for the triple cap, Max goes down, Zinning go for the revive, FOF and friends are trying to go for the, for B, and gunfire all around, third out and gun there, and that was the only reason he died, FOF and friends taking Bravo, N7 taking Alpha, holding Charlie, FOF and friends have to break out here from B to Charlie. If they do not get either back, it will not go their way. They are trying to get Alpha, but it's not working. And South is holding his own. Getting another double. Gelardo coming in to help him out. South finally going down. And now N7 can regroup and take back Bravo. This one's going to come down to the final tickets. I'm telling you, folks. They cannot seem to get out of Alpha at the moment, but they are holding Bravo, but here come N7. Third is on the roof. Oh, Nugger gets one. Oh my gosh, this is crazy all around. Grenades galore. Third looking for Big Head, and here comes Indy. Will he get killer? No, he won't. Third is going to be surrounded. He knows that he's jumping off the roof. Ed 7 well prepared in the defense though on C. They know they have to hold this. They are now losing by 3 points when they were winning by 25 after coming back. If they can get 1 point back here, they can turn this back in the tie. They have to go for Bravo. It's do or die now. 
FOF and friends have to go for C, which they're doing, and the and Seven's defense is no more, but they can get B. This is close. Who's going to win with the final tickets? It looks like it might be FOF and friends, but they're losing tickets left, right, and center. Here comes N7 taking it back. B and C. Will FOF and friends be able to hold it? No, they won't. N7 going for the triple cap. This is incredibly close, folks. It is 11 11. N7 were up, then they were down. FOF were up, then they were down. We got a V1 being called in. We got a V1. It's going. Oh, and he gets nobody. Unbelievable miss. That could have changed everything. It's going to go anybody's way now. If N7 can hold off Bravo and Charlie for the last ticket, they'll win. And they do. What an incredible war. Back and forth every three seconds. It is 2-0 to N7. And let's see some of those kill streaks. South looked like he was putting up way more numbers than that at one point. What an incredible round from both platoons. Harris Province, a map I do not particularly like. It's a little small for my taste. I'm more of a bigger map liking kind of person. This is crazy. I'm so glad that this is going down. This is great stuff by both teams. And there's not really a lot of room to maneuver the camera either. Alright, here's the one point. And there's obviously the other point. You can't really see much. Here's this point. It's over here mostly. But you can start taking the point at the guns. I hope everybody's enjoyed the first two rounds. I know I certainly have. N7 on the right, FOF and friends on the left. Oh, they're all sending, FOF and friends are sending everybody to Bravo. This is actually Bravo, I don't know why I said it was this. I'm half awake right now. I do apologize for that. N7 going straight for C to cut them all off. And it looks like they got multiple people around the flank. But now FOF and friends can do the same thing. Oh, and N7 and FOF exchanging kills right off the bat. And now they're going to push everybody to Charlie. Hef getting through himself. And so are some FOF members. We're going to have a multi-gun battle i'm sorry i can't go any higher it's just how dice screwed us casters i think this might be the close map again Big head and half hanging on here. I can't, it sucks. I can't really show you everything except for doing this. And it looks like third is going to be behind. And it looks like FOF and friends are going to get C back and hold A. This might be over really quickly. Third getting dynamite dose saying not so fast, Mr. Commentator. Alpha and third exchanging kills, but half gets two. Takes them out and holds Alpha very well indeed. But N7 do hold Charlie and get a foothold behind the flank. Now Kill is coming in as well. Zinding getting a chance. Ooh, 
Overkill with a brilliant lucky spawn there. And South is on. We will check some scores. Half 5 and 0. Alpha 1 and uh, 4 and 1. Elk 4 and 1. And we got a battle in the back. Battle on the right. Battle in the middle of town. This is just how this map is supposed to be played out. Multiple battles. Again, I do apologize for not being able to go any higher. As you see, I am limited. And it looks like N7 are going to get... Why is everybody spawning over here? That is so odd. N7 are going to get B back, but it looks like FOF and friends might have other ideas about that. N7 taking Alpha. And B is a war zone. I am going to show you it as best I can until the house goes down. As you can see, I don't have many spaces to view. And seven now with the triple cap themselves, except FOF and friends are on the point. And here comes N7 overwhelming them. Now N7, oh my word. Now N7, uh, third getting more dynamite kills here to clear the point. N7 now have to hold Charlie, which it looks like they might just let FOF and friends on the point. Zinning moving to the left with Jake now. And Hef and Big Head. Third getting jumped. Nothing that third could do. So did Max. And that was well played by that squad. Credit where it's due. And it looks like Miss Malcolm and Munker have gotten behind. And it looks like FOF and friends have taken B back. But the question is, will they be able to get C or A? This map could turn on ahead every three seconds. As you can all see. And now it looks like they will get C and they will get A. Ed7 just throwing everything at Charlie every time. And it seems to be going in their favor. They just have to be able to hold it. And Miss Malcolm jumped in the middle. And so was B. Here comes Big Jake spawning on B just before it gets taken. FOF and friends on A. Now they're running. Nope, they're going to leave Hef just on the point. Odd decision to leave him on the point, but that's, nope. Hef must have gotten health there. And third, getting another dynamite kill. Gallardo getting one, Max Red getting dropped. And so was South and Skyline. But on the flip side, Alpha could have been taken back, except Elk decided to go for the revive. Now Elk is going to go for Alpha and he just has to hope nobody spawns there. In the meantime and in between time. But as I predicted, two people do. Skyline. Oh, it's going to be a three on three. Nope. Three on two. Three on one. They got the better spawn. And it looks like N7 are honing. No, they are not honing B. It's taken over by FLF in front. And they also got A. But N7 throwing again everything at C and it seems to be working. Greasy in the corner with a Tommy getting one. Alpha and Rat Max and South getting everybody else. And now they will get C and they will get A. This match has been very close. This map is usually very close. Now we have a firefight just off Alpha. Incredible spawning in uh, time-wise by both both platoons. And Big Head and Jake somehow survive. But N7's Gallardo survives on scene. And N7 get A and now send everybody to B for the first time. No, actually, they are going to all hold A in a counterattack position. 
and it looks like FOF and friends are taking back Bravo from both sides. And here it comes FOF and friends moving down the middle, but N7 waited for them this time to hold Alpha, and it seems to work initially, although Max does go down in an exchange of gunfire. Everybody exchanging Elk, though, holding on to defense work, but they do not get B, though. Very interesting strategy to change that in the middle of the map, the round. FOF honing in the middle, getting a four-man spawn. Now in seven, need to push out. They don't have a choice. Can they get a foothold back in this map? They need Bravo or Charlie, and now they're going to throw everything at Charlie. Elk and Big Head who stare at each other down from distance, trying to find the other by listening for footsteps. This is going to be interesting to see who wins this one. Smoke coming down, third spawning in, and it looks like N7 have made it to see. This one's going to be close. It's going to be tied in about 10 seconds if they and 7 don't have the whole C. And it looks like Max is going to be taken from the back. And he does. Killa getting the double there. And well played to him. Jake getting one. Big Head and Elk still haven't found each other to do a little dance. Oh, and there's a lot of dynamite. And there's the kill from Elk. And 7 hold Alpha. And Skyline spawned in on him. Speaking of Alpha, Alpha gets a kill on Linker. And N7 are surrounding Bravo. Will FOF and friends be able to hang on? Elk stayed back. That's a good positioning for him to be in. Greasy and Killa not sure where to go exactly. They have to make up their minds. Do they go for B or A? And they're going to go for B. Elk is relaying that he's about to have two people on the point. And he gets greasy instantly. And Malcolm spawns in. And Killer gets to kill there. And revives greasy. Now in 7 are a spread thin here. They have to get A or C. And it looks like Alpha is going to get C. Kill, overkill, trying to hold on against Jake and Big Head, and he gets held on, but Skyline gets shot from Jake. Now third has to get A back, and it looks like FOF and friends are completely confused as to where third was. Now they have to send everything to B, not noticing that Alpha's being taken back. This might be a double cap at the very least. And it looks like Overkill is going to get the double and not get taken down right at this moment in time. And 7 losing out on C, losing out on B though, but they get A back. This one is going back and forth. It is literally within 3 to 4 points of each other. Anybody's round here as we've seen for the first two. It looks like FOF and friends have a foothold, but that could change momentarily. And then 7 just had the same foothold, and as I stated, it did change. Although, be it Killa is trying to say, not so fast. But Killa 12 goes down, albeit ending on C is holding it very well single-handedly. And now they went to gamble and threw everything at Alpha. And now they have to hold it. And N7 have to get it back. And Zending and... Oh, no, that was actually Jake. 
but Zinning does get a kill. N7 holding CNA. Now it's in their favor. And now N7 have their own foothold and they are going to hold a high line which didn't work out. They are going to sit off Z and wait to see who comes for it and they are going to push Bravo as well. This is going either way. It's just great stuff to watch. B is held by FOF and friends, but they're having difficulty getting their home point back. And N7 set up in a defensive line. It looks like Hefner is going to rush. No, he is not. Oh, third with the kill. That was absolutely spectacular in the hiding spot. Jake going down. Skyline falling back. It looks like Big Head's going for the revive. He gets it. And it looks like it is N7's victory. That was an incredible hold there on the home point to switch up tactics in the middle of the map or round, whichever you prefer to call it. And it is 3-0 to N7 at this moment in time. Operation Underground, I do apologize, will be very sketchy to stream because there are honestly no good places to stream it. And it is very, very frustrating. I already attempted to stream this one time. And you literally can't see anything past where you are because you have to be underneath. I do like this map, it's just, it's very frustrating, as I will demonstrate. Oh, and by the way, oh yeah, you can't go in that tunnel. Not about that, it's been a minute since I played this map. see I can't go above the ceiling so I really do hope y'all don't leave during this part of the viewing N7 will start over here and it looks like FOF and friends will start on the right or on the left B is about to be a hotbed. We're going to see a really big firefight here, folks. Oh, and it looks like, no, it's not going to be at B. It's going to be at Charlie. The FOF and friends hold out. No, they don't. Third. Will third get the kill here? Third gets one. Will he get the second? Does he even know there's another player there? Greasy gets up and killed. And third goes down. B 
no action on Alpha as of this moment. Pushing Alpha, yeah, this is the stupidest map in the Squad Conquest. You, you literally can't see anything. I do apologize. They're all in a in a you know line here. You could just easily triple cap somebody. It's it, it's I don't know what the creators were honestly thinking. Bunker getting a triple, it's too easy to do that. And that actually is it, it's over. They're gonna call it. That's why they got triple capped. I hope I will see you guys. In the future, have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. I will catch you later.